Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our daily life and in different industries, one comes across various things whose temperature needs to be measured, like the change in temperature of your body or the environment or even the heat from reactors. These changing temperatures of different objects are measured with the help of temperature sensors. Temperature sensors detect this change in heat and give the output accordingly. There are different types of temperature sensors. In today's video, we'll be discussing on bimetallic sensors, resistance temperature detectors or RTDs, thermistors, thermodiodes and thermocouples. Let's start with the bimetallic sensor. As the name suggests, this sensor consists of two metals. The two metal strips having different coefficients of expansion. The metal having a higher coefficient of expansion is present on the outer side, while the metal having a lower coefficient of expansion is present on the inner side. When the metal is subjected to temperature change, it bends into a curve. Why do you think it bends into a curve? Well, since the two metals are joined together and possess different values of thermal expansion, the metal with the higher coefficient tends to expand more. The two metals being attached to each other prevents the one with the higher coefficient from expanding faster and thus forcing the two metals to bend. The amount by which the metal bends is directly proportional to its coefficient of expansion. On bringing the metal back to its reference temperature, the metal regains its original shape. This deformation is used in a temperature controlled switch for example, thermostats. Thermostats are commonly used to regulate the temperature in a domestic heating system. Next, we have resistance temperature detectors or RTDs. An RTD uses the temperature resistance relation of a metal. In practice, a constant current is passed through an RTD. As the temperature of the metal changes, the resistance of the metal also changes. This creates a change in the voltage across the sensor which can be measured via a voltmeter. The voltage indicates the change in temperature and thus the temperature change is measured. The current flowing across the sensor is kept at a minimum to avoid overheating of the resistor. RTDs are made of pure metal wire that have an accurate temperature slash resistance ratio and hence exhibit a linear graph. The relation is given by RT equals R0 multiplied by 1 plus alpha where RT is the resistance at temperature T, R0 is the resistance at 0 degree Celsius, and alpha is the metal constant termed as temperature coefficient. RTDs are used in automotives to measure the engine temperature. They are also used in communication devices for sensing the temperature of the amplifier, transistor gain stabilizers, etc. Next, we'll learn about thermistors. A thermistor is a resistor dependent on temperature. They regulate the amount of temperature in a device. Other than that, they are widely used for voltage regulation, volume control, power driven time delay, and circuit protection. They can either be of the type NTC or PTC. So what is this NTC or PTC? Well, an NTC has a negative temperature coefficient, which means its resistance decreases as temperature increases. They are used for temperature monitoring in automotive applications to determine the temperature of oil and coolants, etc. A PTC or positive temperature coefficient shows increases in resistance as temperature increases. This is used for overcurrent protection, that is to safeguard the appliances in case a larger than intended current flows through the conductor. For example, a fuse. The next type of temperature sensor is thermodiodes. A thermodiode is a semiconductor device. A change in temperature in a thermodiode leads to a change in the mobility of the charge carriers which produces current across the diode. The equation to which is given here, where T is the temperature on the Kelvin scale, E is the charge on an electron and K and IO are constants. If the logarithmic value of the voltage is taken, the equation is as shown here. This suggests that for a constant current, we can measure the voltage change which is directly proportional to temperature. This helps us determine the temperature. Thermodiodes are compact in nature and give a graph that is linear in nature. Next, we will learn about thermocouples. If we take two different metals and join them, then depending on the metal and the temperature on either junction, a potential difference will be developed across it. This is the principle used in thermocouples and is known as the Peltier effect. The junction of the two metal ends are placed at different temperatures. When a measuring junction is heated, there is an EMF produced in the circuit, which is seen on the voltmeter. This changed voltage helps us to determine the temperature. Thermocouples are used for monitoring temperatures of metals and also in cryogenic and low temperature applications. Well, that's all about temperature sensors. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Until the next one, bye.